Hi there, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Hopefully, this is a quick video. All right. The world itself is entering into its wars in which the Lord had um, foretold in which we are to hold on to. But as Christ said, and hold on to what he has said, did not be shaken up by these things. North Korea, uh, China, the U.S., ISIS, Russia. The Lord says, do not be shaken by these things. For these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay. This is what he tells us in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Basically, he has three witnesses that testified of what he said in the New Testament. Okay. What we do need to keep our eyes. Uh, I'm sorry. What we do need to keep our guard up on. Is this upcoming peace. This upcoming tolerance. This upcoming coexistence. Okay. For after the wars. The world in itself. Will come to peace. After the wars. The world itself and the leaders, the UN, will seek peace. Do not bring your guard down. This is not true peace. Many of all, many, many of you already know that. Some of you don't. It will seem good. This is how great of a deceiver the devil is. It will seem good. Oh, coexistence. Or, or we're living together. Everything's perfect now. Everyone accepts another's religion. And that's fine. We can live like that. Okay. The Lord tells us do not be soiled. Do not be soiled by the things of this world. We can live in coexistence. Know that and understand that we can live in coexistence. The Lord told us not to be soiled with the things of this world. Okay. Lot lived in that time until the Lord got fed up and told him to get out of uh, uh, Sodom. Okay. Noah lived in that time until uh, he made his ark and the Lord told him, get in the ark. I'm going to destroy the world. Hear that and understand it. We can live like that. It's a simple fact that when the world begins to turn against us to kill us because of our righteousness, that's a problem. Wars, rumors of wars with the North Korea and China and uh, U.S. Don't fret yourself. It shall, it's, it's supposed to come. It has to come. Nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom. It has to happen. Let it happen. What you need to keep your eyes on is this coexisting, this tolerance. That's fine, but it's the simple fact that it's a deception. Them that are looking for this quote unquote peace are not truly looking for a quote unquote peace because believers can live in quote unquote peace. It's a deception. And in the midst of this, quote unquote, peace, quote unquote, uh, um, a coexistence, coexistence, a dictator himself will call it off and begin to attack anyone that does not subject themselves to his rule. That's one thing we need to watch out for. But you will see in these times that many believers will let their guards down. And for that trouble this is what the Lord showed me in a dream I know I read about it in the scriptures but it says in uh, Matthew then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake then shall they deliver you up okay 
The reason you're being delivered up, and this is after the Lord spoke about wars and rumors of wars. The reason why the body of Christ is being delivered up is because the world is seeking coexistence, is seeking peace. But Christians are not having that. Christians know, Christians know, the true body knows that this is a deception and basically warning the church. But the church is blind and you shall see for yourself and, be, and will begin to betray the body. That's what it says. Then you shall be handed over. You shall be delivered up to be afflicted. And they shall kill you. And you should be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Not only have Christians been persecuted for the longest, killed in many different uh, countries. This will be a spread throughout the whole world. A spread throughout the whole world. Now I get the understanding in the book of Revelation under the fifth seal. The souls that have died for the name of Christ and the testimony and the commandments. They cried out to the Lord, sovereign Lord, holy and true. How long? When will you avenge our blood for what the people on earth have done to us? And then there was a voice underneath the altar that spoke to the souls and said, y'all rest. It'll be a little season. Basically telling them, wait, not yet. We have to wait for the remainder of your brothers and sisters. This is what the a voice underneath the altar that's, that, that, is from, that, is, that stands before the Lord told the souls, rest a little longer. Wait until the remaining of your brothers and sisters here on earth are killed just as you have been killed. So the remainder that they're waiting for, this remainder won't happen until when the breaking of this uh, coexistence, no more tolerance, Tolerance is no more tolerance in which they agreed upon is no longer tolerated. This is when Christians worldwide who have let their guard down will be killed, persecuted. This is why we must be on our guard. For the Lord showed me this in a dream. And he also showed me as well standing before judges in a jewelry for his namesake. This is something that has come to pass. I thought I'd bring that up. I thought I'd go over this with you all. So when you do hear of the North Korea bombing the U.S. or uh, uh, Russia bombing the U.S. or I don't know what's going to go. I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest with you. The Lord said, do not be shaken. What you need to keep your eyes on is this peace that's coming up. It will seem great for some years. But you know, the body... We we'll have to stand up at that time. And that's when persecution worldwide will occur. You will be betrayed by your family members because they got locked into this false coexistence, this false peace. And they see you as being one that's not allowing the world to be at final peace. Y'all take care.